So, uh, yes, yeah, so this is joint work with uh, Tomasz Gogacz and Albert Gutowski from the University of Warsaw and uh, Victor Gutierrez Basulto and Jasmine Ivanez Garcia from Cardiff University. Uh, just like the first talk, uh, the talk by Diego, it's uh, about ontology mediated query answering. So, we have a data instance which is considered incomplete, uh, an ontology that specifies how a correct completion should look. And we are given a query that uh, we are supposed to answer. And by answering, uh, we just mean that uh, we need to check if it's entailed by, by the data instance and the ontology, uh, which means that it's supposed to hold in um, every uh, extension of the data instance that satisfies the uh, ontology. Uh, the difference from, from Diego's talk is that we are using uh, description logics. And another difference is that while we would like to solve the problem for um, CRPQs, uh, we were not allowed, we were not able to, to achieve that. So uh, we will only support um, the simple reachability uh, along rows. And finally, just like uh, in Diego's talk, we are interested in finite models only. So when we're considering um, uh, the extensions, we only want them, uh, we only want the finite ones. Traditionally, in, uh, in KR, um, people consider unrestricted extensions, so both finite and infinite are fine. But this is just a convenient simplification, because the reality that uh, we need to model is almost always finite. Sometimes it does not matter, as, uh, as Diego explained, but, uh, but sometimes it does. Uh, so consider this knowledge base that you see at the bottom of the slide. Uh, it just says that uh, Charlotte is a person and that every person is a child of a person. Does this look correct to you? Well, at first sight, it might seem fine. It seems to reflect our knowledge about the world. But when you factor in the, the, the fact that the number of all people who ever lived is finite, you discover that there is something wrong with this because uh, we cannot avoid cyclic genealogy, which is probably not uh, what uh, we would want. So the following query uh, is entailed by um, our uh, knowledge base. So this is precisely the kind of reasoning uh, that we will be doing in this paper. Let me uh, describe a slightly more general example, a, a toy problem, if you wish. I will try to illustrate the main idea of, uh, of our work uh, based on this uh, specific simple problem. So consider the most fundamental uh, description logic ever, uh, ALC. So for those of you who don't know it, this is just model logic in disguise, uh, model logic written in different syntax. Uh, and suppose that we are given a knowledge base, so a data instance and an ontology expressed in this logic. And we are to uh, decide if uh, the following specific uh, query is entailed. The query just says that there is a cycle uh, such that it goes through an element in concept A and an element in concept B. So dually, uh, we, we want to decide if there is a finite model of our knowledge base such that there is no cycle connecting concepts A and B. For example, uh, this knowledge base tells us that uh, there is an element A in concept A capital that has a successor and that elements in A have successors that are, have only successors that are outside of A, but inside B, and elements in B have only successors which are outside of B, but inside A. So just like in the, uh, the uh, Charlotte example, um, this knowledge base has a model without a cycle connecting concepts A and B, but not a finite one. So how do we uh, solve this toy problem? Well, the key insight uh, of our work is that you can actually reduce this problem to query answering for queries that are local. So they do not use uh, those transitive closures at all. Specifically, uh, we observe the following thing. Uh, it turns out that the uh, knowledge base has a finite model without a cycle connecting A and B, if and only if it has a finite model that can be decomposed into bags such that every bag has either A or B empty. And by decomposed, I mean that uh, you can partition the, uh, the domain of your, um, of your model uh, into bags in such a way that those bags form a tree. And you are only allowed to put edges uh, between parents and children, and there can only be one such edge. Uh, 
uh, between every child and uh, parent. So how do you prove this? Well, in this specific case, it's very easy. Uh, you just uh, take a witnessing uh, model uh, and unravel it. Uh, but instead of using single elements, you use the whole strongly connected components. So obviously in each strongly connected components, the uh, transitive closures are trivial. Uh, everything is reachable from everything else. So you can just drop uh, the reachability atoms. And because of that, instead of evaluating a query with reachability atoms, you uh, need to evaluate a query uh, without reachability atoms, but you're evaluating those queries inside each bag separately. So the only thing that you need to check is uh, if there exists such a uh, tree-like um, model. How do you do that? Well, it's not totally trivial because the bags we're talking about are unbounded unlike in, in, in typical scenarios where, where you have bounded tree width. Uh, here you don't have this. Uh, but luckily, we can still uh, symbolically construct this, um, this tree-like um, model uh, by reducing the existence of every single bag uh, to uh, query answering for those local queries that we managed to construct. And uh, the entailment is supposed to be uh, by um, a slightly modifi modified knowledge base that depends on uh, the unary type that we want to satisfy and the unary types for which we already uh, created um, the witnesses. And this solves the problem in this uh, easy case. Now, in general, we need um, a bit more work. Uh, um, there are three main ingredients. Uh, the first thing is that we cannot guarantee that our bags are disjoint. Um, we have to allow um, intersections. What we can guarantee, however, is that uh, if you take a single bag, uh, it shares uh, with all its neighbors only a bounded number of elements. Uh, another thing is that the unraveling uh, does not have to be um, finite but we are interested in finite counter models. But what we can guarantee is a certain safety property, which allows us um, using uh, a variant, uh, quite a powerful variant of, um, of the blocking principle to get finite counter models. And finally, uh, finally uh, our query was very simple, the one I gave you in the example, but in general, when you forget uh, the uh, transitive uh, atoms, Mm, you end up with lots of pieces, uh, lots of local pieces. And those pieces can be scattered mm, throughout your decomposition. In order to check that everything is fine, you need to collect them. Uh, so for that, we use uh, tree automata. So that brings us to, uh, to the main, uh, actually the only result of this paper, uh, which is the following. Uh, so using those uh, three ingredients and the basic idea, we can show that uh, finite and actually also unrestricted entailment of uh, unions of conjunctive queries with transitivity atoms um, is uh, um, the cycle within 2x time uh, for two logics. Uh, so the logics are extensions of ALC. Uh, we can either add uh, nominals and inverse rows or nominals and uh, qualified counting restrictions. And in both cases, um, we can use uh, reflexive transitive closures of rows anywhere. So in particular, uh, we can also count uh, over uh, closures of rows, which is usually uh, forbidden. In, in the previous work on similar logics, uh, this was forbidden. We can do that. The lower bound is, uh, is a very easy adaptation of a difficult uh, hardness result um, for CQ entailment in uh, the logic uh, SH. So this, uh, in, in this talk, I'm somehow constantly zooming out. Uh, so this is now uh, time to, uh, to have a, a landscape shot. So what I told you about is um, a result on um, the sideability of um, entailment, finite entailment of a simple but still non-local uh, class of queries into logic, ALCOI plus and ALCOQ plus. Uh, recently, uh, Danielski and Kironski showed that uh, you can decide finite entailment of unions of conjunctive queries, no transitive closure here, in, a logic, uh, in the logic uh, Shoi. So this logic extends ALC OI with uh, role inclusions and the transitivity declarations. So you can declare a role to be transitive. You cannot use 
mm, transitive roles in, in, in your axioms, uh, transitive closures of roles in your axioms. Now, the paper does not talk about transitive closure in queries, but it's very easy to edit. Um, it's just a small uh, reduction that you need and, uh, and you get the result for uh, UCQ plus for free from, uh, from this paper. So this should be viewed as uh, another example of a positive result on uh, entailment of finite entailment of non-local queries. On the other hand, uh, understandability uh, is lurking uh, quite close to us. Because if you allow uh, both uh, well uh, inverses and nominals and functionality restrictions, which are um, a very restricted form of counting, actually uh, finite entailment of two RPQs is undecidable. So two RPQs, that means that uh, it's in some sense stronger than the language that we are considering because full regular expressions are allowed. But on the other hand, it's it's simpler because there is no conjunction involved. It's just a single regular expression. Uh, so what I view as nice next steps, um, um, quite uh, intriguing uh, challenges, uh, th there are two such, uh, such challenges. Uh, the first one is trying to actually solve the problem for, for CRPQs, which is kind of the um, paradigmatic uh, query language with, uh, with transitive closure. And for this, the first step would be to, uh, to deal with uh, closures of unions of rows, maybe just two. Um, for starters. Mm, this seemed to be quite difficult to us. We tried to do it and we failed. Uh, and another direction in which you could go is uh, extending the logic. And here a notorious um, candidate would be uh, essentially any logic trying to connect inverses and, uh, and counting, even in a very restricted form. For instance, uh, when you would not allow counting over inverse rows. And this is essentially all that I, um, that I have to say, but I would like to finish with a, a broader, uh, more general uh, takeaway message. Um, so here it is. Thank you.